That is way too cool. It's got a bird. Does it have a bird? Or is it just opening the nest? It's busy opening the vest. Check out looking inside for a chick. That is insane. Guys, get some screen grabs of that. That is way too cool. The birds are hitting it. Busy mobbing it. That is way too intense. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. There you go, the birds chasing it away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 birds busy mobbing that gym gene. Mind blown. An interaction there. He just investigated the corner of Wendy's bull bar. I don't think he's done just yet. That was absolutely insane. Sorry for that, guys. That was magic. Magic, magic, magic. Yes, my boy, we're telling everyone how magical that was. Thank you. No stress, absolutely no nothing. And Uncle G also called it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a sighting. So there's two young squirrels and it looks like they're living in this uh, termite mound over here, which is, yeah, it's very unusual. Most of the time you see them in, uh, in trunks of trees and so on, but uh, they're going to be opportunistic, I guess, if they find a nice suitable place to make a little habitat. And then they will, in this case. Look at those little guys, so cute, man. So tree squirrels, and actually calling all around us here. Um, I'm not sure what has been walking around here. I mean, squirrels, they alarm call for all sorts of threats. Could be anything, really. Just beautiful. Yeah, these tree squirrels are, are really lovely to watch. They're always busy. Very interesting. Very unusual. This is the very first time I've seen them living in a termite mound. It'd be interesting to see what it looks like down there because, you know, termite mounds are, yeah, they, they can make it really comfortable in the inside there. They can, you know, just rub the sides or just like, you know, scratch on the sides to make the room a little bit bigger. Avery, this is a cute, cuteness overload, most definitely. Look at this squirrel just sitting right on top of it all. So one seems to be in the hole and hiding and this one seems to be on top just watching and listening because the other tree squirrels are alarming around us. But as I say, it could be anything. It could be a raptor, it could be a you know a snake of sort, it could be a leopard walking around. I mean the list goes on and on really. Now there's three of them now, that's very cool. The three musketeers. Anyway, um if you've ever seen a squirrel run up a knobthorn tree. Now knobthorn trees have got these uh, um, very curved hooks which if you just walk past the tree it's almost like the tree grabs you. Once you get hooked I mean you are stuck for a little bit. But they run up these trees as if there's no hook thorns whatsoever and I've never seen them actually getting tangled up. Sometimes their tails get caught but it's, uh, you don't really see it too much. So they're, they're very well adapted inside the trees. Very very nice. I'm not going to lie to you, you got to give credit where credit is due, and Uncle G pulled this one out the bag. I was busy looking ahead, um, looking at the road, daydreaming about a leopard, and then Uncle G was like, hey, wild dogs. How cool is that? Super, super cool. Sorry guys, I am just having a close look at these dogs, and something is not right here. One, two, there's meant to be one more. And the one gave a bit of an alarm call very quickly and then they got a bit, a bit hectic. Yep, they've definitely eaten and that's why they're not running away from us. 
big fat full bellies. There's the collar on one. Very, very important. Keeps them nice and safe, especially with the great distances that these guys cover. They can run into a whole bunch of trouble. So that is part of EWT. And they have some work to do in keeping them safe. They monitor all the dogs from here into Kruger National Park. It is about time, jeez. It's been absolutely mental trying to find these things up and down, up and down. But I think they might have bumped into some lions a bit further south. And uh, probably from there ran north, trying to avoid trouble. Which is fine because you're not, I love me a little bit of wild dog action. I don't think they're going to be chasing anything anytime soon. Their bellies do look very nice and full. They are on high alert, so I think they might have bumped into something for sure. Well, we eventually got to the, in the lion sighting, and uh, well, here we are. And I'm hoping that we've got here just because every single guide that I've passed has said they are Makulu Mafuta, which in very terrible Shangan means that they're very full and that they were, what else were they? I'd forgot what else was said about them, but anyways, and they were lying down flat. Thankfully, heads up, there's some yawning and uh, a bit of grooming going on. So these are hopeful signs uh, that uh, they might get on the move. And I did see, though, that two days ago they caught a zebra. Not an adult zebra, but a, I think it was a young zebra. And they devoured it very quickly. And there were supposedly 15 members of the Nkuhuma Pride, which is crazy. So I think Mohawk was here. Uh, and the his sons and just everybody else and in between so that's really exciting it's been a while since I've seen them so I'm excited uh, I, ca I can't really see all the lines right now I think they're all scattered I'm gonna do a rough count one two, three, four, five, six. I can see I think eight or nine I, I, if I'm not mistaken I think there are some males uh, but they're off to the right we can't really see them right now we'll just stick to the ones we have a good view.